The Ford Focus has been one of the UK's best-selling cars in Britain ever since it first reached showrooms in 1997. Buyers have loved its range of engine and trim options, its fantastic driving ability, and excellent value approach to motoring. All of this has made the Focus a huge success for Ford. It's quite unsurprising then that a lot is at stake with this all new model. The fourth generation of Focus has a lot to live up to. The latest car has grown in terms of styling, but perhaps the biggest difference is when it comes to tech. There's new engines with clever cylinder deactivation technology, a new suspension setup that can detect potholes on certain models, as well as a posh Vignali model and a rugged looking active version to expand the Focus's appeal. Ford is clearly not taking any chances with this new model and the firm is eager to see its Focus back in pole position in the midsize hatchback class. The latest Focus has gone up market, but the body withholds a classy design, incorporating styling cues from its little sibling, the Fiesta. It's grown in size with a longer wheelbase to allow for extra interior space, but without making the design look too bulky. The range of trim options also give buyers plenty of scope to pick the model that appeals to them. There's the standard looking style, Z-Tech and titanium options, the sporty looking ST line grade, the posh and luxurious Vignali version, as well as the active, which takes SUV styling cues to give the Focus a more rugged stance. The Focus's interior looks as if it's been lifted from the smaller Fiesta, which isn't a bad thing at all. The interior quality has also jumped up a notch compared to the last version, and it feels well built, with the range topping Vignali being a trim highlight thanks to its upmarket chrome interior detailing and leather dashboard. The driving position is excellent with plenty of adjustability to find a perfect seating setup, while the dials are easy to use too. The optional head-up display is also a welcome addition, which is aided by the Focus's already fantastic visibility out of the windows. Ford's latest SYNC 3 infotainment system is also a doddle to operate, and as you jump up the equipment levels, it adds features such as satellite navigation, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Live traffic updates also help you to plan more accurate journey timings too. If you want to know more on the interior of the car, our full written review on the Ford Focus is available by clicking the link. The Focus's dashboard redesign and longer wheelbase have allowed the Focus to feel impressively practical with a good-sized 375-litre boot and plenty of rear space. There's also lots of room to leave your odds and ends thanks to the Focus's array of storage compartments dotted around the cabin. It's only the optional panoramic sunroof which has the potential to limit rear space, but even with that fitted, four six-foot adults will be able to sit comfortably with plenty of legroom and headroom, which is a significant improvement over the last generation. Practicality is a key factor within a car of this class, so to find out more about passenger legroom and boot space, then read the full written review by following this link. The Focus's driving ability has perhaps been its greatest asset since the model first went on sale, and enthusiastic drivers will be pleased to see that this version is as great as ever. It's involving and fantastic fun to drive, and arguably even more so than the Focus it replaces. It's particularly refreshing that the wash of important safety aids have failed to dullen its driving experience as well. Regardless of the trim level you go for, the Focus is a rewarding car to drive, with the ST line probably being the most thrilling until the Hot Hatch ST and RS versions are launched. When tested recently by Euro NCAP, it performed well, securing a five-star safety rating and was recognized as best in class, thanks to the safety aids fitters as standard. As well as these, options such as adaptive cruise control, adaptive headlights that swivel around corners to improve the view of the road ahead, and steering assist in the event of a collision are available. Ford offers an excellent range of both petrol and diesel engines. On the petrol front, there's a 1 litre or a 1.5 litre engine in various states of tune. The 1 litre EcoBoost can be had with outputs of 84, 99 or 123 brake horsepower. 
whereas the 1.5 litre unit is available with either 148 or 180 brake horsepower. The latter being the fastest focus currently on sale with a 0-60 to time of 8.1 seconds. The fuel economy on these range between 46.3 and 60.1 miles per gallon. The diesel engines offered include 94 and 118 brake horsepower on the 1.5 litre EcoBlue engine and 148 brake horsepower on the 2 litre engine. Fuel economy is very impressive, particularly with the least powerful diesel unit, which can manage up to a claimed 80.7 miles per gallon. More powerful and sporty ST and RS versions will follow in due course. Prices for the new Focus start from £17,930, which means it undercuts the model it replaces by a few thousand pounds, clearly demonstrating Ford's aim to keep the Focus attractively priced and accessible. Standard equipment on the style models includes 16-inch alloy wheels, LED daytime running lights, automatic lights, Bluetooth, and a host of safety kit, including autonomous emergency braking, post-collision braking to limit the impact of a secondary bump, and lane keep assist. Even the most powerful petrol engines are still good on fuel, which means that regardless of the engine, low running costs can be expected. If you cover a lot of miles annually though, the diesel engines are the ones to choose, thanks to superb fuel economy and emissions as low as 91 grams per kilometer of CO2. For more information on the pricing options on the Ford Focus, then click the link. Bringing out a new Focus is never an easy task for Ford, but the company has pulled it off superbly. It's better to drive than ever, comes with a host of standard safety kit and tech, yet it is still remarkable value for money. The Focus has become the new car to beat in its class, and its appeal will only be enhanced through the rollout of active ST and RS versions. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, click here. If you'd like to learn more about the Ford Focus, click here. And to keep updated on all our latest videos, click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel.